welcome. In this video I am decluttering and organizing this kitchen for the first time in its life. The reason I couldn't bring myself to do it before is because I thought it was a must to just dump everything out somewhere on the floor, not let anybody use the kitchen for the entire month and just feel overwhelmed and stressed out about the whole situation. So instead I did my research and accepted the fact that it was gonna take me, in my case, more than a day and just decided to go by category or cabinet by cabinet without stopping for weekly breaks. So in the end I was able to pull it off without going crazy, without anybody starving for days and I did a beautiful job just taking my time and going from cabinet to cabinet even with two kids constantly interrupting me and hanging on my pants this is a part two video to my whole kitchen declutter and organization project it's not like you're missing anything i'm still gonna link part one in the description of this video so that you can go and see how we organize the first half of the kitchen if you like as you can see, I already started organizing the kitchen drawers, so in this video we're going to be mostly organizing the bottom cabinets of the kitchen as well as under the sink cabinet, making some DIY organizers to fit my needs, as well as organizing and decluttering the above the refrigerator junk cabinet that is so cluttered and so forgotten that I forgot to do it in part one. So the way I go about it is just pull everything out, put it somewhere on the counter, separate it by categories, including the trash and something that doesn't belong in the kitchen or in this cabinet, and the rest I'm gonna try and organize into categories and see if I have a suitable container for that kind of stuff, and if not, I'm gonna go and buy it. So I just came back from the dollar store getting some more of those smaller containers to organize my kitchen cabinets. So I kinda tried to have an idea of what I need first and then go to the store and buy my containers because I used to do it the other way around before and I found myself cluttered with containers that are misfit for everything. So now I try as much as I can to first see what I'm gonna need, what color and size and then go and buy it. Although it may be a little tricky with things like dollar store because their inventory is not always predictable and if you see something good there you better grab it right then and there. But I try to make it work as much as I can. Also right here I'm gonna show you what I did with the stain that I couldn't get off with my all-purpose cleaner. I'm gonna use the pink stuff and I'm new to it. But after getting this stain off of my cabinet it really proved itself to me once again and I'm really really starting to like this pink stuff. As you can see the pink stuff is doing a really good job and I also wanted to mention that nothing is sponsored in this video and I will only ever recommend anything if I love it myself. I also never introduced myself, my name is Jenia and I come from Russia. My husband is an American and we have two little kids together, a two year old girl and a 10 month, excuse me, 11 month old boy. I like creating real life cleaning and organization videos as well as an occasional makeover. I try to do everything on a budget. If I see an opportunity to make something DIY in order to save money, I'll probably be up for it. And it might not always have a Pinterest-like look, but I am okay with that as long as it's functional. When it comes to organizing things, I always try to worry about functionality first and then the looks. It's not that I don't care how my things look in my house, it's just that I find that if you care about the looks and not the functionality, the looks are probably gonna break down real quick. Having said all that, of course I buy a lot of things from my household. And while I love the dollar store and Walmart great prices, I believe that when it comes to certain things, you have to go sometimes with the quality product and spend good money on it or not buy anything at all. If you think in any way similar or find any of those things relatable, I think you will like it here on my channel quite a bit and I hope you will consider subscribing for more cleaning and organization videos on a budget. As you can see here, I'm in the middle of organizing my Tupperware cabinet at the moment and actually I did not have enough space for all of my containers in my container cabinet. 
So now after organizing it, I have enough space for even for extra glass jars that I used to keep in my pantry as well as those blue and black extra containers that actually belong here and I used to keep them in the pantry. When it comes to the spaghetti sauce glass jars, I use them for my cooking oil after I'm done cooking and I need to discard it because you can't really throw it into your sink, it's really bad for the pipes. There's quite a bit of stuff that I'm a little bit confused about with what to do with it, whether to throw it away or uh, to keep it. Please don't mind the sink full of dishes. And I'm using the halfway home method for this. So that's when you're not 100% sure if you are ready to throw something away or not and you're gonna put it into a box and that box somewhere halfway out of your house like in the garage and then a few months later if you don't touch any of those items if you don't think about any of them they go straight into the trash or donation center and if not they will make somehow their way back into the kitchen or wherever they belong So that green stuff and the wooden stuff I'm not quite sure about, they're gonna go into the halfway home box and everything else I am keeping. Please be mindful I forgot my blender on top of the table which should belong in this cabinet but I will be putting it back as well as showing you all the before and all the after pictures at the end of this video including the part 1 organization and declutter of this kitchen video so stay tuned for that. So now I'm organizing my under the sink area and the system I had in there before worked sort of halfway so I'm trying to fix that. The spinning tray I had for my cleaning products works so uh, now I need to come up with some kind of organizer for the rest of my stuff which is what I'm doing right now trying to fit everything. I also do not want to hide a lot of stuff behind the organizer just to assume that I will remember that it's there because it didn't work last time. Please keep in mind that I have a couple of babies and when that happens your organization system is going to be very sort of different than it normally would be. So when organizing anything I always keep in mind that no matter if I have all of my cabinets baby proof or not one day I will forget to lock that little thing and he will get in the cabinet anyway. All of those containers come from the dollar store and I'm just connecting those two risers with some zip ties. Also, you've probably seen those containers at the dollar store. They always come in in bright colors, so I decided to spray paint it white. And now we're moving on to my above the refrigerator area that has been forgotten for a long time. Got a brother that doesn't treat them right. 
I found some kind of book with the trolls which my kids I know for sure did not use and I know that this, the, this is the first time I'm organizing this kitchen so it must come from the <laughs> previous owners. <laughs> I thought it was quite embarrassing but also so funny that I could not not share it. You get mad every time you lose, you can't take me with you, I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse, come a little bit closer, yeah, I can really start over, yeah, in the back of my mind, there's some that cabinet above the fridge had some extra towels and rags and I decided to just go ahead, put all of my rags and towels together and organize them all at once. I do keep all of my towels and rags in the pantry and because I am planning on organizing my pantry next, it's going to be such a huge, huge project that I decided to at least get this part out of the way. So in the cabinet above the fridge I'm going to put everything that is seasonal or that we only use occasionally or something that's extra. So I'm separating those towels accordingly and the rest of the towels is going to go back into the pantry. I think I might spend some time to think about how I could better organize this area in my pantry because we are very limited on space but so far in my pantry we have microfiber cloths, kitchen towels, uh, baby wipes or aprons, whatever they need when they eat and under that is some floor wipes, trash bags, gloves and some cleaning products. So at this point I put everything up and I thought I was done but I wasn't. Uh, everything was kind of stacked on top of everything so I had to come up with another organizer. That white riser came from my kids puzzles and I knew I would find some kind of use for it one day. I also could have zip tied that container on top of the riser but I chose not to for easier access to the towels. So at this point we have two more drawers left to organize and the one with organizers in it uh, was not that bad because it had organizers in it and I had a system that was kind of working for it. So there was no need to fix what's not broken, we're just gonna tidy it up. And like I said, I went to the dollar store before and got a bunch of small containers for smaller items. I like using them in the kitchen because there's a lot of miscellaneous small items that end up in the kitchen all the time. And I always try to make sure that they don't slide all over the drawer by connecting them to the bottom with some two-sided adhesive strip or foam squares that they sell at the dollar store. So when organizing stuff, I know you hear a lot that you have to find a place for every single little thing in your household and that's so true, but sometimes you get stuck thinking about it. So I try to just find at least a temporary place for every single little thing. So I think, okay, I don't know where to put you, but you're gonna temporarily belong in here and that lets me move on to the next thing. So as always I had everything in categories and I'm gonna throw away the trash and everything that doesn't belong in the kitchen I'm gonna put somewhere outside of the kitchen and everything else I'm gonna try and put back into their places or find a new place even if it's temporary.
this is truly the one last cabinet that we need to organize and I don't know why we as a family of four two adults and two babies have seven frying pans in our cabinet I don't even know if a family of seven has seven frying pans but I'm gonna declutter a couple of those also one of my hooks that hold my lids fell off so I'm gonna have to fix that real quick and I use uh, command strips for that command strips are my best friends and we're going to be done with this cabinet in no time Okay, so we are done with decluttering and organizing this whole kitchen. I'm gonna show you all the afters right now and we are going to start. I was just quickly gonna show you what I took out of the halfway home box and decided to actually declutter for good. So these are just the items I'm donating. I also threw away a few items, but I was not collecting those because the whole organization and decluttering process took me, if I'm not mistaken, about four days. So I just kept throwing them away as I was going through the stuff. When taking the final pictures, I wanted to make sure that all the items that belong in the kitchen are actually in the kitchen and not all over the house. Things like cups, plates, bottles, baby bottles, whatever it may be, I wanted to make sure before I took the final pictures. So this is about 5 o'clock in the morning and, and nobody is on my way so I emptied the dishwasher and I made sure there is not a lot of stuff in the sink, just whatever is left from my husband's dinner from the night before and um, so that I can take true final pictures. So for under the sink cabinet, I wanted to explain real quick that I wanted everything in front of my eyes, not behind some organizer, because things get forgotten. So there's only a minimal stuff behind the organizers is something that I absolutely do not want in case my lock, baby proof lock um, is unlocked for some reason, my baby cannot get to those things anyway. If you missed part one of this kitchen declutter and organization project, I will link it after this video as well as in the description so you can see it if you like. 
in that part one we organized all of the top cabinets including the spices and the medicine cabinets well I'm gonna link it like I said also please don't hesitate to leave me a comment if you have any kind of opinion on this whole organization project or maybe even advice or just feedback or even just to say hi I would love to hear from you also, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel because I do a lot of stuff like that and I wanted to really thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in my next video. Forever, forever. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking?